In this lesson series, we will discuss regarding failure analysis technique topics, including the tools and methods related to this topic. In maintenance operation, engineers or technicians are basically dealing with problems from broad different areas such as electrical problems, mechanical problems, system problems, and etc. Usually, these failures come in various types, whether caused by common or uncommon problems. Thus, the most important task for maintenance engineer or technicians is not only to solve the problem immediately, but also to ensure that the same problem will not happen again in the future. Or, if it is going to happen again, we have to make sure that we are ready with proper detection method and also with effective solution. So in order to do this, the technicians or the engineers need a proper tools that is failure analysis techniques that enable them to systematically deal with the various types of problems or failures. By having this knowledge, they are able to identify the problem correctly analyze the cause of the problem and eventually propose a reliable and sustainable solution. All right, let's start with the term definition of failure analysis techniques. The failure can be defined as the action or states of not functioning. There are different types of failure, such as complete failure, partial failure, or intermittent failure. As example, our remote ceiling fan is in complete failure if we can't use it at all. Or, it could be in partial failure if we can only switch on the fan using manual, but not by the remote. Or, finally, it can be in intermittent failure when sometimes the remote can function correctly, but the other times it won't work. So this is intermittent. So the next is the term analysis. When we say our ceiling fan is not working properly, of course, we will examine all the elements of the ceiling fan to find out the cause of the problem. So this detailed examination process is called analysis. It is normally involved inspections and measurement to obtain the insight to the data related to the elements. And lastly, the techniques. The technique is the way of carrying out a particular task, which can be, so the way here can be methods, approach, procedures, process, strategy, or system. In this ceiling fan example, we may need to measure the supply voltage with tools such as multimeters. And in doing that, we must follow a correct measurement method and safety procedures, which is part of the techniques. All right failure analysis techniques that I will introduce 
in this lesson is called root cause analysis or short form RCA. RCA is a systematic or structured approach to identify the underlying problems that cause the occurrence of an undesired or unwanted issues or accidents. I would like you to pay the attention on the term systematic. It is very important to note that in order to correctly find out the true cause of the problem that is the root cause, we must actually use a correct method, follow a correct procedures, use a correct measurement tools and steps. So that's why it must be done systematically, not by chance. So what is the goal or objective of RCA? The goal of RCA is to get down to the true cause of the problem. That is the root cause. We are not only trying to find the surface or the symptoms of the problem, which frequently happen actually, but we would like to know what is the real reason or the root cause of the problem. So let's try to understand this um, RCA using a simple analogy of wheat. Some people or maybe some of you may frequently has this problem uh, where the weeds keep growing out around your house. What usually happen is uh, we will cut the leaves and after a couple of days, the weeds will come grow again. So in order to prevent the weeds from growing again, what we need to do is actually to get dig deeper and kill the roots of the weed, not clearing only the surface, which is cutting the leaf. All right, let's see another uh, analogy. So we have a problem three here. So we have a problem. What commonly visible to us is usually the symptom of the problem. This is what we can see. The real cause commonly invisible and require a systematic analysis to reach to the root cause. So this is from here down is invisible part which commonly is the real root cause of the problem. So by keep solving the symptoms, we only making a ways in resources financial and many more because the problem will keep coming back. So what we need to do is actually to use a systematic approach so that we can reach to the root cause of the problem. In order to successfully perform the root cause analysis, we need to use an appropriate tool. Actually, there are many tools that are available to help us perform this RCA task. In this course, I will introduce a number of tools from two main categories, which is cost analysis tools and risk assessment tools. For cost analysis, there are five five analysis, fishbone or Ishikawa diagram analysis, fault tree analysis. And also 
there are many risk assessment tools but we only will cover failure mode and effect analysis and Pareto analysis. We'll discuss about each of these tools in the next few lessons. Thank you very much.